lovelies. I think that's what I want to start calling you, is my little lovelies. Because, I don't know, that sounds kind of stupid too, but you know. <laughs> um, I am starting to film just a little bit for um, Vlogmas Day 4, which is today. So this video will be up as soon as I finish filming and then editing it. I'm going to try to make the video pretty long. Um, like about as long as I can get it probably. But um, yeah. Today was something. It was something. I was going to say that, but my bathroom door just tried to close on me. That's weird. But oh well. <clears throat> so I'm just sitting here tonight. Um, I'm kind of happy about this and stuff. I had one of my um, co-workers from work tell me that she has been watching my vlogmas and that she really enjoys them videos because she feels like she's um, getting to see me from a different like side than what they see me at work and stuff. And it really made me happy and stuff that people are actually enjoying my videos and stuff and my content and everything. It's like, I just, I want to be as real and genuine as I can be. <clears throat> like tonight and even yesterday during the vlogs, like, because I'm transgender and like, I, I struggle with my voice on a daily basis. It's not really something that I can control. It's just something that happens. Um, I mean, I have my good days and then I have my off days and stuff, but the most important thing is that I just don't give up on it. And I keep trying and I keep trying to get my voice to stay where I want it. A <laughs> good thing, but today was extremely exhausting. Um, I had four houses to clean and it was just a mess. <laughs> a complete mess and I'm so exhausted. I don't really feel very well. I haven't, I just haven't really felt well today at all. So maybe that will go away eventually. I'll start feeling better. Some time in the night, hopefully. I'm hoping that I don't have to wake up in the morning sick as a dog. But, you know, you never know. I'm sorry for my little breakouts, but you know. When it's a vlog, you're just gonna see me at my worst and at my best. Like, you're just gonna <laughs> have to learn to accept that and stuff that I'm not going to be perfect in every single video. I'm not going to have the perfect clear face. I'm not going to have like extremely smooth skin and stuff from the, because I do have battle with facial hair and stuff because I am transgender. That is something that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And I mean, I just try my best with it and just do what I can. But, I mean, you can only do so much with it. And then after a little bit, you just, you can't do anything else. You just continue to do what you're doing, and that's gotta be good enough for you. <clears throat> but, I mean, I want laser hair removal, but, um, that's expensive. So, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But, I did, um, I got the call today for my, um, to start going to see my therapist and stuff. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm also excited just because, I mean, I'll be the first one to like say that it is okay when you need help to reach out and try to get help. And I've been wanting to go back to therapy for quite a while. Um, I used to go back when I, like, I first came out and stuff, I was in therapy, <clears throat> but then I got on some antidepressants, I got better, so I didn't think that I needed it anymore, but you know, it's, 
it never hurts to have just that little extra um, help there like if you need it and stuff and I mean I'll be the, like honest with you that some stuff that I talk about and everything I don't really talk about outside of the therapy like sometimes whenever I was in there I would just talk about things that I had never told anyone else before and stuff just because I knew that the therapist was not there to judge me that she wasn't going to judge me or anything like that and she never did um but I mean she went out of practice whatever I honestly wish that she was still in practice because she was such a genuine sweet lady and she made therapy just seem like it was nothing and stuff but it's like you don't if you do have to go to therapy or if you have to be on like antidepressants and stuff like that that's nothing to be ashamed of like I used to be so ashamed and, em and embarrassed for being on antidepressants and it would upset me because I felt stupid that I had to have medication to um, help me be feel better and to help me not want to kill myself and get down into that really bad depression and stuff but you know it's just something that has happens sometimes and there's really nothing that you can do about it and it's like if you need to be on antidepressants or like I mean if you are on them or if you're going to therapy like problems to you honey you are doing something really good for yourself and that is what you need to do like you need to do what you can for self-care self-care is like should be your number one priority and stuff really I mean it's just if you're not happy you can't really make anyone else happy um, and that's something that like I deal with on a daily basis I have really bad depression I have really bad anxiety and when it hits it hits and it feels like I'm at rock bottom every single time but I'm gonna tell you this that like you can get out of it it's so not easy to do but you can do it like I have pulled myself out of it so many times and I feel like each and every one of you that's going through any of that you can do it as well you just have to push yourself and just try your hardest to not let everyone else like what their opinions of you are and everything else affect you as much it still affects me I'm a human being like we all are so of course when somebody says something rude about me or when they look at me look at me like the wrong way or something like that like of course that is going to affect me but I try my hardest now not to let it affect me to the point where I can't function and everything um, usually now when I have my depression it's not because of anything it's just because it hits me um, it comes and it goes like it lingers and stuff but each time it comes back it does get worse for me I don't know why but it does um, but yeah like I'm not embarrassed anymore to have to be on antidepressants I'm not embarrassed to have to go to therapy and stuff like that and it's just something that I have to do for myself in order to keep myself from getting into that really dark spot again because I'm gonna be honest with you like I had really dark moments and I just wanted to die um, I tried killing myself and stuff quite a few times but I mean you don't really realize that you're getting that far into it like I was numb to everything so I didn't realize that I was getting that far into my depression as I was until it came to my mom holding me down in my bedroom in the floor because I was screaming that I wanted to die and stuff um like that's when I knew that I was not in a good place and that I needed help and I asked for help 
you don't need to be ashamed for asking for help or afraid to ask. I mean, it's just not something that you need to do. You don't like, I mean, you don't need to feel ashamed. You don't need to feel like you're a weak person or something like that. If somebody tells you because you've tried to commit suicide that you're on the better end now and stuff that you're just weak and that you're stupid for trying to kill yourself and everything, you're not weak. You're not stupid. Depression is a real thing and a lot of people don't really realize that that it's not just something that you can just flip a switch and it's done and just go, oh, I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to be really good. I'm not going to have any depression or anything like that. Like, that's not how it works and stuff. And like a lot of people feel like it is or that it's just something you can control. You cannot control it. And when it gets down to that point, it really gets down there. Um, but it's like a lot of what I went through was bullying in school and stuff I went through years of being bullied and it finally took me till my freshman year to realize just how bad it was when I had a boy told me to um, read a book about suicide so that I can do it but now he's a father and I genuinely hope that his daughter never has to go through what he put me through and stuff because nobody deserves that nobody deserves it at all the only reason that the guys that picked on me ever picked on me was because they were insecure with themselves and stuff and that is the only reason why they were insecure they hated themselves for some reason and then they took it out on me and yes I realize I'm transgender and I realize that I'm very feminine but that just and like for a man or whatever if they are feminine they are feminine so what like why does that hurt your ego so much that somebody is different than you than you like that should not bother you at all and if it does you need to take a look in the mirror and figure out what you're doing wrong like I have had that moment so many times that I've had to look in the mirror and ask myself like why are you acting that way? Why are you being... Because I'll be the first to tell you that sometimes, yes, I can be judgmental at times and stuff. It's not that I want to be, but sometimes I just don't catch it and I don't realize it and stuff. But I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to say, oh no, like I've been bullied and everything, but I've never been rude to people. I've never judged anyone because I have everybody has we're all humans we all do it that like, we all judge people we all look down on certain people and everything else i try my hardest not to do that but if i do it and somebody tells me about it or like how it makes them feel or something i try to fix that and i try to do everything that i can to make up for it because it, i not for me, not for my ego, but for them, because I don't like for people to feel bad about themselves. I don't like people to wonder about their self-worth and if they're worth it and stuff, because each and every one of you is worth it, and each and every one of you deserves to be happy, and if there are people and stuff in your life that are not making you happy, or constantly tear you down you don't need them in your life honey you don't it took me the longest time to realize that but you don't what I talked about last night and stuff um am I ashamed of feeling that way no I'm not I'm not ashamed of who I am I'm not ashamed of that a lot of my cousins their husbands don't like me because I'm transgender and they're all country and everything and they don't like that it's like I'm not gonna stoop down to your level and make myself somebody that I'm not just because you're uncomfortable with who I am if you're uncomfortable with who I am then so be it stay away from me 
I don't care. Like, I mean, I feel like a lot of my... I'm just going to spill a lot of tea right here just because I need to. I need to talk about it and stuff. Like, I have cousins who act so snobby because their husbands make more money and stuff. And they have their own houses and stuff like that now. Like, good for you, honey. Good for you. But don't forget where you came from. And don't forget that, you know, you're not the you're not better than anyone. You're not perfect just because you have your own house. You have like your own family and stuff like that. That doesn't make you perfect or better than anyone. That goes for any person out there. Like you are not better than any certain person just because you feel entitled. You're not. I don't feel bad for saying this stuff because it's like, it's been a long time coming since, and it's just family drama is the worst. <laughs> it is absolutely the worst. What's sad is like a lot of people I know are accepting but behind my back like to call me he, him say that I'm a boy and stuff like that or they don't even put in any effort to use my right, correct pronouns my thing now is <clears throat> yes I understand that it's going to take a little bit but it's like I've been out for 7 years and you can come up with as many excuses as you want that does not make a difference to me if you try and mess up every once in a while, then I am not mad at you. That makes me happy that you are at least trying. But if you're like the others and you don't try at all, but expect me to give you patience, it's not going to happen. And I will start correcting anyone who calls me he or him. And I'll be nice about it the first time, but after that I won't just because I've been out for seven years now. So the people in my life know about it. They know who I am and stuff. And if they don't want to accept me for who I am, don't want to see me as who I am, then bye, honey. I don't need you. Like, I just, I know I sound like so rude right now, but I'm just so tired of people running all over me and just letting people treat me however they want and however they feel like they can because I don't deserve it. Nobody deserves it or anything. Like, I love you all, but if you don't want to be associated with me in my life or anything, then I'll just love you from a distance. Sometimes that's what you have to do with people, like with friends and stuff like that, or with like family members and everything. There are times where it's better to love them, but from a distance, just because they don't see you for your true self and for your worth like we are all worth it and everything and if people would just take the time to get to know each other to like get to know me and stuff like you would find out that I am a really nice person and stuff yes I come off snobby at first because I am very shy and I don't know how to hold a conversation very well at first but after a little bit, I'm different and I'm crack jokes and stuff all the time. I am a smart ass. I will be honest with that. I come off really rude and stuff, but half the time I'm just joking and I don't actually mean it in a rude way. Um, but it's like, I'm just so sick and tired of people treating me the way that they want to and the way that they feel like they can and stuff just because I've always been the quiet type and I've never said anything about it. But it's like, I'm tired of keeping my mouth closed and stuff and stuff and I'm probably going to get a lot of stuff for this but it's like I'm not sorry for it I'm not sorry for feeling the way that I feel in everything like 2019 really showed me a lot and it really showed me like who in my life actually cares about me and stuff who doesn't and it's shown me like financial struggles and just all kinds of stuff 
and just struggling with myself, but learning to really trust myself and to love myself. So I want to go into 2020 with open eyes and an open heart and an open mind and just let all the possibilities and stuff just come or whatever. And I want to experience a lot of new things. I want like just I want the new year to be great with my marriage like I want to just start a clean slate with the people who I really care about who really care about me and stuff and not worry about anyone else who doesn't actually care about me doesn't actually want me for anything like so I just want to be happy I want to be actually like seen for who I am and seen for the heart that I have because I actually do care about a lot of like I care about everyone that comes into my life whether anyone believes it or not I really do but there are times that like I love you enough that I have to let you go or that I have to just push you away but it's not because I don't love you is I love everyone that comes into my life and that actually I get the chance to know and everything that they get the chance to know me but a lot of people have never taken the chance to really get to know me and stuff and I have a lot of issues I, I know that I can be a very toxic person at times when I am at my darkest I can be a very toxic person but for the people who actually stay in my life and actually try to help me through it through my dark times they are actually there for me and check in during my darkest moments like I appreciate you it means the absolute world to me but um like I don't know I just I feel like this new year is going to be really great like, I mean, this year has been pretty great. Yes, I've had financial struggles. Yes, I've had, like, mental struggles. All kinds of stuff go on. But I'm actually at a place in my life where I'm happy with myself. I actually feel good about myself. And when I look in the mirror, I don't hate what I see. And I want every, each and every one of you to get to that point where you don't, where when you look in the mirror, you just envision and see exactly what you've always seen or wanted to see and stuff. Because you are all perfect. Like, you are perfect the way you are, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you're not perfect, like, everything. You may not be perfect at, like, makeup or, like, perfect at playing football and stuff like that. But... As an individual, you are who you are supposed to be. And it's like, you're going to struggle so hard, especially for you younger kids and stuff. Y'all are going to struggle so hard to find yourself. But trust me, you will eventually get there. You will find yourself. Do not rush your childhood. Like, I cannot stress that enough. I used to always wonder what it was like to be an adult to be older and stuff but now that I am an adult I honestly wish I could have that time back because it goes by so fast so fast but anyways I'm just gonna hop off of here um, and end this vlog for today but like I said for each and every single one of you like you keep doing you you keep striving to be your best because that is what matters but I love each and every single one of you thank you so much for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and that like button and comment down below like any ideas or anything or just like if any of you need to vent comment down below and I will and or like if you just need somebody to reach out to 
DM me on Instagram. You can message me on Snapchat or anything like that. And I will try my hardest to get back to you. And I will try to be there for you with whatever advice and stuff that I can give or that I can help you with. But I just want to be there. Thank you.